I have a new dress. The dress is white and blue. Hmm. What's the difference between a, n, and the? Hey there, I am Teacher Pricks, and I want to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. In lesson three of this guide, I talked to you about the articles, the indefinite articles, a and n, and how we can use them before nouns. Do you remember what a noun is? A noun can be a place, a person, or a thing, an object, an animal, in the singular. Today, we will learn how to use the definite article, the, and the difference between the indefinite article, a and n, and the definite article, the, and in what situations we should use them. Don't forget to subscribe for good vibes and like this video. But here we go. First, do you remember the nouns? These are words that we use, objects, things, people. Um, we usually use them in the singular, but we can also use them in the plural, okay? If you want to learn more about plural, you can watch one of my lessons in this beginner's guide where I explain all about it. But let's look at some examples with nouns and the indefinite article. A house, an egg, a doctor. In this case, I am using the indefinite article, a or n. But why? Why am I using these articles? Because I am not talking about a specific noun. I'm not talking about a specific chair, a specific doctor, a specific egg. No, I am not. It's a general idea. And this is the situation when I use the indefinite articles for these situations that are general, are not specific. I need necessity. I need a car. A car. I, it's not a specific car. It's a car. A general idea. It's not a specific. Another important thing about the indefinite articles A and N is that we only use them in the singular, okay? I never use A or N in the plural. Never. All right? Now, the definite article the is different. I use the when I know what I'm talking about. When the object, the noun, is a specific. It's not a general idea. It's a specific one. For example, the dog outside my house is barking. The dog is a specific because it's the dog that is outside my house. Good job, dog. Perfect example. It's outside my house. It's barking. And it's a specific dog outside my apartment. So the dog outside my house or my apartment is barking. It's not a general idea. I know what dog that is. Another example. Excuse me, where is the bathroom? Hmm, it is a specific bathroom. For example, you are inside a school. You are inside a hospital. You are looking for a specific bathroom. So you cannot say a bathroom. You have to say the bathroom because it's a specific one inside the building, inside the place where you are. The children love to play outside. These are specific children? Yes. In the conversation, you can understand the context. You can understand who these children are. And in this case, I use it children, plural, okay? Hmm, so can I use the in plural? Yes, you can, no problems. You do not use an in the plural, but the, the definite article, can definitely be used in the plural. One important thing about the article the is that you can use in the singular and in the plural. So to conclude, we use the articles before the nouns, okay? The nouns are objects, 
a, a thing, a place, a person, and you can use the articles a n only in the singular, while the articles the you can use in the singular and in the plural. The articles a n are for general ideas. It's not a specific uh, object, a specific person. Now, the definite article the is very specific. You know the object you are talking about. This is a basic explanation about articles. When you reach intermediate, advanced, you will see that there's a lot for you to learn about articles, all right? But this is how you get started. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!